Okay, so this is another video for Minimax AI. First of all, I have to thank the company Hiluo AI for giving me access to the unlimited plan for this month. They allowed me to try out the unlimited plan within this month to generate as many AI videos as I can. In this video, I want to share my user experience and some feedback on using this AI service. Since last month, they have launched a subscription plan, but I haven't pulled the trigger to subscribe yet. After the Minimax image to video feature that I covered in the previous video, I tried to create a short video with Greek mythology as the topic, and I tried to generate the video using Minimax. So far, as I saw in the unlimited plan after the Minimax update with the paid plan, there's not much change from what I previously saw when I tested their last update about image to video. However, I have found the video processing and queuing in the lower corner part here kind of slow. It's still not the speed I want although it's going to be a very slow process if I have the limitations here as well. Well, there are a lot of other AI video generators that are limited in how many jobs per account, but the upload of the image and the generation process here, as you can see, is very slow when I press the generate button. It just takes half a minute for one task in my job queue. I think that's something they might need to improve. Even though I have an unlimited plan that I gained access to from them for this month, I'm still not satisfied with the slow speed of this waiting game here. I think they have to add more GPUs or upgrade their backend infrastructure a little bit to handle more users using their AI video generator and other features on their website. It doesn't change much, as you can see, as the dashboard or the main page is just gathering other people's work. The control panel is too simple, just a text box with an upload image and a prompt enhancer option. I would expect them to keep updating with more control for text and image to video, which would be better. I'll finish up this story and have to do this video demo for Minimax AI videos. Hopefully, there's something that can be shown or generated smoothly. As you can see right now, it's full of queued jobs and I can't process more. But even with five jobs in the queue, each one is very slow. So please, Minimax, if you see this video, upgrade your GPUs. This is my suggestion. Let's wait for the rest of the images and I'll continue the videos again. Right now it's almost finished generating all the scenes, but there are still 10 scenes left. Again, the experience of using this AI video generator is that their file management tools are lacking. Whereas in other AI video generators, such as in Runway, we have a workspace to organize each project even in Kling AI, you're able to select multiple files and download them all at once. I found that it's hard to do multiple file downloads on this platform. For example, I have multiple scenes right here. When I try to download, I can't select more than five video clips to download at once, and their download speed is pretty slow. Like here, I just click the download button, and there's no response allowing me to save it to my file explorer, and that's kind of a drawback for me. I don't like tools that run slowly. If you want to bring it to a production level, this AI tool is not there yet. For example, here I just click on a few video clips and it just pops out. The first two videos allow me to save them in my windows. And some scenes here have a lot of mouth movement in this AI video generator, as I know. And some scenes are able to be brought into short video scenes, but some are not. Also, the whole problem with that is that I don't like the very simple text box tools here that won't allow me to do any camera control or motion control for image to video. That's a big drawback for me when using these tools. Whereas in Runway, we have at least the starter end frame to be able to control video to video and more features. But in this AI generator, while the resolutions are nice, some scenes are suddenly moving fast. Like this one doesn't get the whole video's motions in a consistent way. That's a drawback for me as well. So yeah, like this one, look at this. This is not going to be a good scene to bring into the AI videos as a whole for short movies or short clips. It just suddenly pops up into other random scenes from your image. So sometimes we have to try doing multiple generations for one image to video clip like that. Yeah, like I tried both two times with this image and it still failed. Maybe the text prompt is affecting the problems, but usually when I just do a simple prompt with other AI video tools like Runway or Clean AI, it doesn't happen like that. So they have to, they might have to fine tune what they have on the back end to make it better for the video generation experience. Other than the resolutions and the clearness of the videos, it is better than other AI video models. So hopefully they have seen this video of my review and they might have to do some updates for their system. Hopefully they listen to people's feedback and this Greek mythology story, 
I will post it in other YouTube video, link in the description below. And here's another example I'm doing using Minimax. Well, I did this Halloween short video story in Kling AI. In Kling AI, I generated all these scenes very smoothly, even testing a few clips with different text prompts or doing other controls where some bad ones appeared as well. But in Minimax, I just cannot stand the very slow generations with what they have in their online interface. I'm only able to generate like five of these scenes per half hour. And in Kling AI, I was able to generate all of the scenes within two hours. So here I got like 64 image to videos in this generation. And in Minimax, I just cannot do that with speed. That makes me have no mood to continue using it. Although they gave me access to the unlimited membership within this month until November 24th. I still have to say it honestly and be responsible to my audiences. Well, if that is really what they call fast track generation for paid accounts, then so be it. This is not up to my standard for fast tracking. I'm sorry, I cannot give positive feedback for this service if you have an unlimited membership account, but you're still having these very slow generation times. Like 31%, 34% within 10 minutes already. I just have to give it a fail for this, as these are paid account expectations. I hope they listen to the feedback. Increase your GPUs before you scale up your business in order to acquire good quality customers or get paid users to use your service. And also, add some more controls instead of just only a text box here. And some video scenes, like this one, are talking too much, for example. Like this one, it should be just clicking on the phone, but the character is talking too much and the finger is just moving randomly. I'm not happy with that as well. But I found the trick is that we can keep the character silent without the mouth moving a lot, yapping, yapping. By using a keyword called no talking or whatever the object or character is with this keyword, it will stay silent and just use the phone. So far, as I see, Minimax advantage is the video quality it is good. Very coherent and consistent style all the way through the clip. But the generation speed is just killing time with this. I cannot accept the speed this service for production work. Those are my conclusions, my experience with Minimax. I hope you guys get some insight about what it feels like even when you upgrade to the unlimited plan account using this service. So that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Have a nice day. See ya.